Okay, hey guys, what's up? Sawyer King here, back with some Dark Souls. So, I'll fill you in on my Tale of Calamity, but... Uh, so this is actually NG+. I'm gonna be playing an NG++ again. I'm gonna be explaining that a little bit later. I got no pants on. This is why I call my Butcher's Build, because both of these things kind of look, I don't know, butchery. And I'm just wearing frams and then grave gauntlets, because why not? Give you a quick look at my stats. There we go. Level 150. Decent stats are for a quality build. And, yeah, I don't know why I have that on, but hey, screw it. So, basically, this is how you start the DLC. So you go, you uh, come down, kill the rotten. Then you go through this little door over here, like you normally would for um, just normally completing the game. But, there's been a little bit of renovation. As you can see, there's now snakes here. And snakes are, well, snaky. A little bit of water. And now we are starting Crown of the Sunken King, recentering myself. I always off center myself. I don't know why. I don't know why, Jon Snow. These things they just happen to me. Looking at my recording screen. Okay, it's still recording. That's very good. So now my tale of much calamity. So basically, what happened was I've already recorded this. I've already gone through this portion. But I didn't have my um, game capture thing plugged into a primary port, so what ended up happening was it stopped after three minutes of game footage. So basically, I had nothing. <laughs> I lost pretty much everything. So now I have to record this entire thing, but I want you guys to see where all the items and stuff are, so I'm going to throw a bonfire aesthetic in it and make this NG++. Guess why the hell not? I'm not wearing pants. Might as well make it dangerous, uh. Cause that's a word. So sadly, this part won't surprise me. But look, ah, oh, it's just so beautiful. And if you look down there, giant fish monsters. Yup, look at them. I don't know what they're doing. It's so strange. But yeah, anyways. So there's a wee bonfire right over here. And this is the only bonfire I'd gone to. And also, let me explain how it happened with this. So, it's NG+, plus because I wanted to be able to use these weapons. I didn't just want to jump down the pit and kill the rotten in normal game. So, what happened was, I thought it'd be first defeat the Lord that's quarter crap. Okay. Well, I can't bonfire aesthetic things, but you can sure bet I'll kill things. Okay, I didn't actually notice this down here. Oh, growth. Ooh. Didn't notice this at all. But yeah, anyways. So, New Game Plus, I thought I'd just go and get the um, soul vessel under the house in Mahula, and I'd be good. But turns out, as a promo for this DLC, there was no soul vessel in the house in Mahula. Instead, there was a Murray Makino with interesting skin texture. And so basically, what ended up happening was I had to play all the game till the Lost Bastille get that soul vessel. Then I had to jump down the pit. And. Oh my god, they have so much poise, these guys. Oh no, you don't drink. You don't get to drink. But so yeah, I played through basically the entire game up to this point. Where I then went. And. Where is he? And got my weapons and killed the rotten. So sadly, I can't go and re ng plus this thing, but I'll show you where stuff is and whatnot. And I'll tell you where there's crap items, because there are some crap item traps, and there's some other traps, and now I know this. Now it's even more like a walkthrough. Oh my god. So, anyways, you wanna bring a bow. Not gonna lie about that. You really, really want a bow. There's just a ton of these places that require a bow. Like, no joke, actually require you not to get through, I don't want to say, but definitely it's going to make your life a hell of a lot easier. Now, almost all these guys will actually shoot at you, so I just like hitting them in the head, and I think they're right next to a cliff, so I can get them in the head. Dang it. Eh. Yeah. 
Roll, fat boy, roll. Yeah, I'm so fat. Yeah. I don't try to be fat. I just tam. Oh, now these jerks are gonna come. The guy with the the guys with the big maces don't have arrows. Arrow guys are really freaking annoying though. And you'll use up all your Essie Tussy flasks. But these guys also have a ton of poise, just by the way. Well for me anyways. So just wait till they attack, and then smack. Like it was with the big boss. Ow! And they also have reach. On small edges. A quite aggravating fact, if I do say so myself. And I want and I chugged so much here before, I remember. Really, I should be pairing these guys. But I'm pretty bad at parrying, not gonna lie. So uh, that's how I kill these guys. Now, these guys, these silly willy archer dillies, I would highly recommend shooting. Because they are all about luring you into traps with archers and then shooting. Damn it. There's a long archer segment. Hit this, and these thingies, they turn, and they will make something somewhere rise, like that. Just like that, actually. Don't mind that weird stretchy wetchy. Huh. And that probably raised something below. But anyways, always hit those things. Cool things happens when you hit these things. It's, it's like freaking crazy, man. Like, watch this. Watch the power. And there you go. Now you just wait for Mr. Silly Piccadilly to come and get his butt down here. Mr. Silly Piccadilly. Ah, Mr. Silly Piccadilly. You don't understand me, do you? Do you understand, Mr. Silly Piccadilly? I've come here to murder you most violently. Post haste, I do say. Post haste. Uh oh. Oh. Close. <laughs> we caught in it close. Okay. And this is my butcher's build. I don't know if I said that already. Because I killed the rotten and I was like, Oh, I killed the rotten with his own stuff. So funny. Now, let it be said that the big swings can actually be beneficial to you. Their big swings. They slow as hell. And they also did as hell. Thanks, mm -hmm. Mace. Okay, now for example, only way you're gonna get up there is you hit this thing. I hesitate to jump on it now because I might get trapped down there if I do. But what you can do, you can do this. And you watch and you wait. Watch and wait. Watch, watch and. God damn it! Go, damn you! I command it. Oh, there we go. And now look, we has hail. We have as hail. And you wanna jump on here? Wait, can we? Mm, mm, kinda don't feel like jumping on there. <laughs> yeah, if I jumped, I would have killed myself. Pro tip: don't jump there. Ooh, dark squats ring. That's actually really useful against the dark arts. So hey, cool things all the time. What means, bro? Now, I'm gonna get on this for interest and interest alone. But this part's gonna go down an extra level. <gasps> Secrets! Oh, yeah. I haven't practiced my falsetto. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm gonna go over here. And that's the pillar, we, the other one we raised. Okay. So there's nothing hither. Watch hither there may be. Oh! I was looking at the camera. Don't look at the camera. Don't give up in short sniper spot. 
Wait, wait, wait. There might be another one of the things to shoot, to hit, to bring it back down. Damn it. I don't want to look at your freaking fugly face, man. With all your weird particle effects. Yeah. Wait, what does it say? Don't give up in short sniper spot. Where? Okay, we need to get the bow out to look at this thing. Let's look. So this guy said sniper spot right here. There is most certainly peeps up there. <gasps> yes, that's what he's talking about. This thing right here. Yes. Okay, we did it guys, we did it. It's all good. And now we can get back up here. And there was a corpse right there. Now put it. Wait a second, where's the sniper spot now? Oh there you are. Hello sniper spot. Nice to meet you. Oh, and that has a good collision mesh? Really? And the collision mesh is just like the thing. That detects whether or not you hit something with a projectile. And it does not work sometimes. To my aggravation. Oh, plunging attack time. Really? That did not stagger you? Well, this will. Have fun walking without a spine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and this guy. He's gonna murder you if you try to grab that thing in right there. So. Be very careful. Ooh, what do you drop? Sanctum Soldier Gauntlet. Ooh, tasty. Okay, so if you didn't do all that silliness, I think you probably could have just walked around here and jumped on here. Just go for it, basically. So next part of the Super Uber Pro walkthrough, of which I've forgotten the places. The places, man. Ow! Okay, so there's this guy, and he is a jerk. And there's also guys down there. They will continue to be jerks to you. No, so just make sure no one came up behind me. Okay. They will continue to be jerks for you, unfortunately not. If you do not murder them. No, don't you inch back. Shoot your freaking shoulder, bro. It's just hanging out there. I don't think he knows that his shoulder, shoulder's right there. Maybe he's trying to trick me and fall off the edge. Which I am very close to doing, but not that close. And if you don't have a bow for this guy, this is the other way. Uh oh. We got hand poise breaks, guys. And there goes your spine. Bet you feel real smart now. And by the way, there's, there were some people down there, and they would have like, shot you while you were trying to hit them. What the heck is stretching over there? What the heck does this thing do? Oh, okay, so, there's this down there, and, what the, that was a big old shake. A big old shake, what the heck? I oh, guess we gotta go down. We must investigate the mysteries, Jeff Rattier. Mm-hmm. Then I think you hit this thing. Now do something. Just you watch. Don't know what that guy was thinking. He's dead now. He's dead as hell. Wait for it. There we go. So that and that. I guess if you would have gone around. No, that just makes the jump even freaking harder. What? Oh. Normally you would not be able to jump across here. And also, what the heck is with that stretch? That's not the game's fault, by the way. It's my own fault. By the way, there is this little room right here. Those things all contain corrosive acid. They will break all of your equipment. Do not hit them. Just pro tips, pro tips. Yeah, that's freaking bitch. Speaking of the corrosive acid things, so I haven't been actually in here yet, so hey. Might as well! Oh, could have just done that. What's this message read? Enemy horde ahead. Oh, I love those. Those are my favorite type of hordes. Those are literally my favorite. Uh oh. Mm, yeah, he wasn't lying as it turns out. Now, finding out an escape plan is very important not to die while you're trying to figure out your escapey plan. So, like this. Oh, they're corrosive bugs, too. Oh, this is not good. Wasn't lying about the enemy horde, apparently. Nope, nope, not lying at all. Okay. 
Well, let's try not to have all of our equipment broke. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. <laughs> I should not roll into these things. Hello. Get out of my way. Let's see. There's either way to escape here. Oh, there's an item. Not even trying to kill these things. Oh, I'm breaking all of the equipment. Get out of my way. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 plunging attack. And Daya. Well, that's probably 500,000 souls gone to waste. And back to where we were. Good show, old chap. Good show. There we go. And slash dilly ass. Really? Really? You're gonna survive that? Fine, be that way. See what I can. Okay, ran back real quick. Probably being followed by enemy horde. Don't know if there's an item in there. But, not gonna try my luck with it right now. Although, we can't make that jump anymore. We gotta hit this thing. Okay. So then we can run and jump. Like a jumping Jeremy. Uh oh. Let me backstab him. Thank you. Now I can deal with this guy. Oh, not gonna be like that. And there we go. And yeah, retract that thing from the hellhole which it leads. <laughs> really did not help me that hellhole. Yes, most hellholes are bound to do. They're not very helpful things by nature. Oh yeah? You want some? You want some? Come at me. Come at me, bro. Oh. Now your back is getting stabbed, yeah. Whoo, that's a nice crit. Like engraved gauntlets. They give you them crits, bro. They give you them crits. Don't know. I think those things are just for helping you walk across. Now, this next place, that thing. You see, all those poison statues, actually a poison statue crab, which you can kill, but only if your weapon swings low enough, and if it starts at that low swing. So I'm just going to run past Mr. Crabley, because he's an ass. See? This is why no one likes you, Mr. Crabley. Nobody. And now, technically, I don't think you have to kill any of the people up here. You might have to hit a couple of those pillars I'm not quite sure oh well we'll kill this guy anyways because there is a ton of archers that way so the way that I like going down after I murder this man really it really irks me that it just leaves a teensy bit of health left but anyways you can go down here and once you're down here well, that will happen, but you can roll back in. I forgot about that. Uh, I can't poison. Cannot poison. I repeat, sir, we cannot poison. Ah, there we go. Fine. There we go. And dead. Okay, so you can go down here. Be careful about the man in that corner. He'll come out and try to stab you in your butt. But once you've done that, you're good to go. And down here lies the rest of the level. And now, those guys on the bridge there usually get fireballed by a dragon. I'm sorry about all this stretch. I don't know what's going on. I'll turn off and on my PS3 soon. Because usually that means heat damage. And heat damage is not good. It's not good damage, brah. It just ain't. Let's see. I don't know how that thing works. Usually you can hit those buns, but those buns are being silly. Okay. I'm on PS3 setting itself slightly on fire, so we're going to make this quick. There's an item if you go around here. Forget what it is, but hey, it's there. So now this is going to be rather challenging, isn't it? Hmm, I guess not. Ah, yep. oh, crap. The range on those. Drink. Whoa! Easy, man. Oh, really, Wall? Really gonna do that while my PS3 is burning to death? Ah, uh, damn it! Damn you, stamina! Okay. And let's see. Here we are. Now, I think I'm just gonna go through a teensy bit of this crypt, and that's where I'll call it quits. But hey.
So now you'll notice that the architecture of this place is really quite nice and circular. And this is the Dragon Sanctum. Yes, yes it is. What's this say? Listen carefully. Oh yeah. Okay. So what I did was I've already been to the depths down there where you will get this key, the Eternal Sanctum key, and you can come back up here. Uh, let's make sure there's not another one. Oh, there is most certainly another one. By the way, those guys kind of explode into poison. I don't know why I said listen carefully, but maybe this is like Russian roulette but with chess and some will kill you while others will save you. Because you can hear the little sound going on. Type of thing. So, okay. Let's just open one at random and hope you don't horribly die. Okay, no death here. Dried root. Okay, you are a chest. We have confirmed this now. Always be very careful. The entrances. Some more dried root. Oh, wow. This is a dried root day. Okay, and... Oh, wow, even more dried root. Please tell me it's more dried root. A lightning clutch ring. Okay, we gotta check that out. That is the thing we gotta look at. Oh yeah, and by the way, I left all my souls somewhere. So I think the deal with all these chestuses was if you open them at the correct time, you don't get dried root. If you're listening to the song. I'm not because I don't have headphones for my PS3. But hey, at least we got something that was looked interesting. Let's see. Hopefully I will realize it. There it is. Increases lightning attack. Eh? Well, that's cool. Too bad I bludged it all up. Wait, what does this message say? Look carefully. I'm looking. Wait a second. Wait a second. I can't look straight up. I don't know what I don't know what it means. People killing the people. Let's read this. Listen carefully. Yeah, I probably fudged that up. Now there is a lot of deaths. And I don't know why it says that. Let's just climb the ladder like a smart person would. Keep on climbing. Weird. I have not been in any of these places before. Wait, no. Read the message first, damn you. Visions of Danger Zone. Danger Zone! By the way, nice job? What? You'll not complain there? Hmm. I seem to hear something. Oh, you. Sorry, but you gotta die. You, you're freaking ugly. And evil. And do that. Oh, God. There's probably people on this bridge who are gonna stab me in the back, too. Ow! Screw you! Uh, I gotta kill this guy on the bridge. See you later, bug. Whoop. Oh, gotta light it. Gotta light it. Gotta light it. Gotta light it. Boop. Okay, I'm happy. Now, this guy seems to be an NPC, I would say. From my vast knowledge of the NPCs. Oh, he has a lot of hair. Yeah, uh oh. Ow! Don't you just get up and start stabbing like a fool? Let me just drink first. Thank you. Thank you for being kind and letting me drink. I appreciate it much. Look. Weird, I wonder what spirit he's using. Very annoying. But backstabs are even more annoying, I hear. Dang it. Oh, I got it. Oh, it hurts to have a butcher's cleave on your face now, don't it? Slash! Oh, he's got your ass poked. Ah, the range on that thing, damn it. Don't poke me. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my kind words. Ow! Screw your tracking with your stupid spear. You're dead now. I really should have just been slashing, dashing, did the ash in him. Yeah, I know. It's because I cut his face off. That's why he's been freaking vanquished. God dang it. Why are you doing this, PS3? Damn you. Okay, but I'm actually going to go back to the place where you would get the key to come back up here. Because, uh, oh, that's not a boss fog. It's just a dude. 
What does this read? Therefore rolling. Troll ahead, therefore dying. Okay. Oh, wait. He might actually be right. You see that? That teensy little ledge. There might actually be a chest there. I'll check it out. But... I think this is probably where I'll end it. I'm gonna go first back and check on these bugs, obviously. But... I gotta show, oh, that is definitely a bad sign. <laughs> I gotta show you guys how to get the keys to come back up here with. And I will do that, don't worry. First, let us climb higher into the fire. Dead, hello. Now oh, we're back in the dragon's sanctum. It's open chest, I'm sure it's not a mimic. Oh, it wasn't, that's good. Sanctum CL. There's a lot of cool weapons that they added in this DLC, so I am looking forward to it. Huh. I can't take this. Comfort. Right. Always right. Nothing there. That goes to the exact same thing. He looked and he's like, oh, well, nothing there. Yeah, nothing there. It's just a beautiful place to look at. So, yeah, it's very cool. And there's still the giant fishmen down there. I don't know what the hell the deal with that is. It looks freaking horrifying, and I hear tell there's only two bosses in this thingamajang. But hey, we'll find out. So for now, this is Sora King, signing off. See you next time.